This is a 1991 BMW E30 318i. Over the next few months, I will be fixing and improving this car right here in my porch. Subscribe to my channel to follow my progress on this project. In this episode, we will be checking the condition of the car before we move on to repairing it. As you can see, the paint is in a very rough condition and the body has various broken bits. The rubber is uh, very old and dry. The side mirrors are not spared either. In terms of rust, there's some bubbling on the paint. I'm not sure if it's rust. There's some rust where the paint has chipped off and underneath the car in various locations, there's a bit of rust. But overall, rust doesn't seem too bad. Moving to the interior, we've got a 5-speed manual gearbox. As you can see, the dash is completely cracked. The trim on the B pillar is uh, very badly damaged. And the shifter boot is a bit damaged. The trim around the door latches is missing. But the headliner is in pretty good condition. And the rear seats are fine, the pedals are fine. It sounds like the brakes are dragging a bit. Moving under the bonnet. There's a lot of body filler or glue in two or three areas and a bit of rust. A compression test shows the valves and piston rings to be healthy reaching 140 PSI in 3 cranks on all 4 cylinders. The spark plug electrodes are all black and sooty looking. You can hear that the tappets or hydraulic lifters are noisy, making a clicking sound. With the engine running, we can also make sure that the alternator is working. Looks good. There is some white smoke coming from the engine, but I think it's engine oil on the engine that is burning off. The engine oil level looks good. The coolant tank cap looks good. There's no sign of any oil. But the coolant in the tank looks strangely brown. I hope it's not full of rust. Taking a look under the engine after running it for a minute, you can see some oil leakage. There's actually red and brown fluids here. So let's take a look under the car. You can see the oil pan has some old engine oil on it. That's where the engine oil leakage is coming from. The steering rack has various leaks. The gearbox looks mostly alright, although towards the rear there is also a leak. The long vertical bar in the centre is the drive shaft, as this is a rear wheel drive car. Here we're seeing the exhaust muffler. Guess this might be the cap. And there's some kind of old patch job here. I'm not sure if it used to be rusted. And we are now looking at the differential. Sending power to the two rear views. That looks good. As does the drive shafts. As you can see, the car is in pretty rough shape and I have got my work cut out for me. My first priority will be to fix the leaks and the noises. Then I'll move on to maintenance on the timing belt, brakes, filters and to replace all the fluids. And that's not even mentioning the paint and the interior. I will be doing as much of the work myself right here in my porch as I can. So please subscribe to my channel to follow my progress.